Thank you, Abby. The President's Award is a formal public acknowledgement of significant and meritorious service given to, to the university. It is initiated and sponsored by the Office of the President of the, Uni of the University. <laughs> I'm, having a, I'm having a hard day. <laughs> The purpose of the President's Award is to recognize on a selective basis significant service or other contributions to the university, to the community, or to the public welfare, which might not be otherwise recognized. We have selected an individual this year who has served Northwest University and the public welfare, Jacintha Tegman. Jacinta is a summa cum laude alumna of Northwest University. She currently serves as the president and CEO of Krista Ministries, their first female president. <laughs> it is her faith-filled leadership, innovative wisdom, and ability to motivate and empower teams, donors, and other constituents that make her the perfect individual for this role. Along the way, Jacinta was a missionary in central Mexico for eight years. She is an ordained minister serving 10 years as an associate pastor, and she also served four years as the executive director of Washington State's Pastor Coalition. Jacinta's passion is to see the lives of the poor and marginalized people around the world transformed. Her calling is realized in her current position at Krista Ministries, which reaches and serves over 8 million people worldwide every year. Jacinta is also the chairperson of Integral Alliance, a global coalition of 23 Christian relief and development agencies. Her immense heart and commitment to help other people has motivated us to honor her today. Please join me in honoring Jacinta Tegman. The plaque reads, the President's Award of Northwest University honors Jacinta Tegman for exemplary service, presented on May 11, 2019. Hi, I'm Jim Hugel, Provost at Northwest University. Sigma Chi Pi is an honor society established for graduates of endorsed Assemblies of God colleges. The name Sigma Chi Pi comes from the first letters of the Greek words meaning diligent Christian leader. Taken from Romans 12.8, which calls for gifted leaders to take the responsibility of leadership seriously, uh, graduates and alumni chosen for their, this honor society are selected by the faculty on the basis of outstanding academic scholarship, approved Christian character, and recognizable achievement in leadership, service, or vocation. The faculty bestows many honors on students throughout the year, but this is the highest honor that students receive. The 22 student recipients I am not, uh, have not been announced until now. Would the following members of the class of 2019 please come to the platform? Please, now you're about to graduate from college, so I know you can do this. <laughs> please come up the stairs to my right, passing behind me to receive your plaque, and line up over there to the left so that the president can confer your award. Christian Anderson. Jay Young Chue, Gina Hart, Emily Sari, Riley Sign, Tyler Whitney, Aaron Gidney, Kelsey Mann, Benjamin Simola, Sarah Warner, Emily Clare. Bethany Geringer, Destiny Kennedy, Jesse Cahill, Alyssa Miller, 
Abigail Peterson, Isabel Kenny, Mary Charvet, Shauna Reed, Craig Pinnell, Jonathan Webb, and Isaiah Woods. For your loyalty to Northwest University and to its mission of quality higher education, and for the excellence of your academic achievement, and for the influence of your contributions in the classroom and in student leadership, and for your devotion to Jesus Christ, your Lord, and for your example of Christian character, and for your manifest desire to give yourself to the task of servant leadership as exemplified by Jesus Christ wherever you go, for these reasons and more, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I am happy to honor you with the Sigma Chi Pi Honor Society Award. Hello, I'm Ken Cornell, and I serve as the Senior Vice President for Advancement at, at NU. The Sigma Chi Pi Award is also presented annually to the alumni chosen by the university faculty who have graduated from the university 10 years or more ago, who have manifested outstanding Christian character and who have made recognizable achievement in leadership, service, or vocation. This year, we are honoring three alumni, Jeff Lockhart, Vicki Rico, and Dr. Jacob Witt. Please join me on the platform. Jeff Lockhart is a Northwest University alumnus holding a master's degree in business administration. He currently serves as the, exec as the executive director of the Kirkland Performance Center, where he oversees programming, funding, and or operational revitalization strategies for the organization. Jeff spearheaded NU's music industry business and recording arts program, Creatio, and helped develop and launch two fully accredited degrees for our students. Jeff co-founded, manages, and plays drums for Cream Tangerine, a Beatles cover band. His love of music provi provide, provided him with a vision and career direction. Jeff has said that everything he learned to succeed in leadership and business, he learned from being a rock and roll band. Passion, <laughs> collaboration, and grit. Today he uses music to motivate and, ins and inspire people to create and to contribute to the community in a positive way. Ms. Vicki Re Rico is an alumna of Northwest University, graduating with a BA in organizational management in 1999. She is also a valued employee at Northwest University, serving as the Senior Director for Student Financial Services. In just two years, she led a team to combine two departments into one and is transforming the way NU serves students and families with financial aid. Before coming to NU, Vicki served as Director for Scholarship Services for the College Success Foundation and Director of Student Financial Services at SPU before that. In addition to her business and financial acumen and reputation as a thought leader in higher education, it's evident to both colleagues and students that Vicki's mission is to make Christian higher education accessible and affordable. She and her husband, Dana, serve on the National Christian Foundation Board, work with generous giving organization, and have a long history of giving their time and talents to higher education. Jacob Witt came to Northwest University as a student in 1995. He found his place as an interdisciplinary history major, as an RA, and as a member of the debate team. As debate team captain, Jacob led the team to their highest national placement, sixth place. After graduation, Jacob and his wife, Autumn, embarked on a three-year teaching assignment in rural northern Japan. They grounded themselves in a local church, serving in various roles. This experience made such an impact that he would later return to, return to Japan to the earthquake and tsunami devastated region of northern Japan in 2011 to help with cleanup and donation delivery. Jacob has earned two master's degrees in communication theory and in linguistics, followed by a PhD in second language acquisition 
and teaching at the University of Arizona. Jacob joined the NU English Department in 2010. In addition to his faculty role, Jacob returned to his NU roots to coach the debate team and is deeply respected and is a deeply respected coach in the national debate community. For your dedication and devotion to the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, and for your outstanding example of Christian life and character, and for your recognizable achievement in leadership and service as an alumnus of Northwest University, for these reasons and more, it is now my pleasure to honor you with the Sigma Chi Pi Honor Society Award. Hello, I'm Autumn Witt, Associate Provost and Faculty Council Chair. The Delta Tau Faculty Award of Honor, established in 1970, provides a means for the university faculty to publicly honor certain persons who have made an outstanding contribution to the development and work of Northwest University. The name of the award, Delta Tau, comes from the initial Greek letters of the words meaning faculty award. Though it names the faculty as its sponsor, the award is a conferral of honor from the entire university community. The faculty voted to bestow this honor on an individual who has enjoyed a significant and meaningful relationship with the Northwest University community. I would like to invite Dr. Carl Christensen to join me at the podium to receive the 2019 Delta Tau Faculty Honor Award. As professor of nursing and founding dean of the Mark and Hulda Buntain College of Nursing, Dr. Carl Christensen served Northwest University for 20 years. His leadership was instrumental in every aspect of our nursing program, from curriculum development to program management. Carl began his career as a reg registered nurse, providing care to patients, becoming a charge nurse, and moving into an administrator's role. He was awarded a Fulbright grant to conduct research in Oslo, Norway, while earning his PhD in public administration. Carl has received numerous awards, presented his research, had his work published, and used his expertise to evaluate other colleges during accreditation reviews. Recently, Carl was elected to serve as vice chair of the Washington State Board of Nursing Home Administrators, a high honor. For these reasons, and many more than we can list today, it is a great honor for me, in the presence of these witnesses, to recognize Professor Carl Christensen with our highest award, the Faculty Award of Honor. Hello, I'm Barbara Petty, Chair of the Board of Directors. The Distinguished Service Award is presented by the Board of Directors for outstanding service to Northwest University and significant contributions to students, colleagues, and the entire university community. I would like to invite Dr. Daryl Hobson to join me at the podium. It is our distinct honor and privilege to honor our friend and colleague. Professor Emeritus Dr. Darrell Hobson graduated from Northwest University in 1970 with a bachelor's degree in religion and philosophy. He continued his studies earning two master's degrees and ultimately a doctorate in ministry from Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary. Darrell began a career in church ministry but soon returned to NU as an adjunct professor and then a full-time faculty member teaching Bible and philosophy. In recognition of Darrell's leadership skills, he was appointed as Dean of Religious and Ministerial Studies and then Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. 
Under his leadership, the College of Arts and Sciences added a pre-med program and degrees in biology, exercise science, and political science. Throughout his career, Darrell has been active in ministry, serving and teaching in several churches for the Asia Theological Center in Singapore and for the Assemblies of God Theological Seminary. In his so-called retirement, <laughs> Darrell continues to teach for NU both on campus and online. Today we recognize him for the many significant contributions he has made to Northwest University. And the plaque says, the Northwest University Board of Directors honors Dr. Darrell Hobson with a Distinguished Service Award for 39 years of service as a member of the faculty and dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, presented on May 11, 2019. In common with other institutions of higher learning, Northwest University, upon the vote of the Board of Directors, confers upon selected persons honorary doctoral degrees. The awarding of an honorary doctorate by a regionally accredited institution of higher learning is one of the most significant recognitions of success available in our society. An academic doctorate, such as the PhD, is proof of intelligence and hard work but it cannot guarantee the success of an individual in life or in service to God or society. On the other hand, the honorary doctorate constitutes proof that significant people have judged a person to be unquestionably successful in their life and career. It is my great pleasure to pronounce that Northwest University considers Dr. Bill Wilson to be a truly successful man. Bill, will you join me on the stage? By the authority vested in me under the charter of Northwest University and by authorization of its board of directors, I hereby confer upon you the degree Doctor of Divinity. Honoris Causa, with all the honors and distinctions which pertain thereto and present you with this token of testimony thereof. <laughs> 